Hello everyone, I'm Atharva Dev, currently studying in 4th year BTEC Mechanical and I'll be sharing my internship experience in Germany today with you. Before I start sharing my experience, I'd like to give you a slight insight about the DART scholarship. DART, which means German Academic Excellence Service, is a platform for pre-final engineering students in India to get a financially supported internship in Germany. It covers many different institutes of Germany in many different fields in many different areas like engineering or pure sciences, biology, astrophysics, um, many other things. So basically it provides internship from 60 days to 90 days um, and it has many different schemes but the scheme of our interest here is DART-wise which is specifically for pre-final college students. So there are many different factors that you need to consider before applying for DART. Like some of them are CGPA, letter recommendation, the statement of purpose, your research interest, then the previous projects or internships that you have done, the academic achievements that you have. The most important of these which I feel for the DART are CGPA and letter recommendation. DART has given a cutoff of 8.5 for applying for the scholarship but if you have a CGP of better like above 9.2 or 9.3 you have a much higher chance of getting the scholarship and regarding letter recommendation is better to have one from the prof who is working in the your field of interest and who has a pretty good name in the research field like who has a good position like a professor and above better to have a letter recommendation from a professor rather than an assistant professor and that scholarship is slightly different from other scholarships like my tax for Canada or SN Bowls for US in the sense that you're eligible to apply for the scholarship only after you have found a professor only after a professor has approved that you can work with him for the given duration so the most important step for that is to get a professor to get approval from the professor so Usually you should start mailing professor by the end of August because during the month of August professors mostly decide the project that they will be carrying on for the next year for the next term so it's it's better to start mailing after the end of August not before or not after because there are a lot of competition from different countries as well there are many different students trying to apply for internship in Germany and while making a list of professors, you can go to the respective college websites and in the website you'll find the department, the respective departments. Then in the department you can find the professors who are working in a field of interest. They just shortlist those professors and start mailing them, start approaching them. And a good thing to know about the colleges in Germany is that like the seven IITs in India which are considered very prestigious. You have the nine technical universities, nine TUs in Germany which have excellent research facilities which are fully government funded or European Union from the EU funded so it's very well renowned in the world they are pioneers in the research field okay so if you want to know more about the scholarship you can visit their website which is www.dar.de now I'd like to move on about my internship experience here so I'm currently studying in Karlsruhe Institute of Technology which is based in the city of Karlsruhe which is bordering France and it is one of the best colleges in the world in the field of MEMS so I was fortunate enough to get the work here in the field of MEMS where my work is to develop an e-no sensor, an electronic no sensor electronic no sensor consists of a metal oxide sensor which in mostly used is the tin dioxide as the oxide so basically it works like there are 16 different electrodes segments between which you place the nanowires the, the tin dioxide nanowires so these tin di dioxide nanowires get polarized when you apply an electric field that get polarized in the direction of electric field and align in that direction which causes the electrode gaps to get bridged so the circuit gets completed and there is some characteristic resistance that they give all across each segment 
so that resistance is noted down it's taken is noted by the software there's a software which works with which works concurrently with the sensor so it keeps on reading continuously the different the varying resistances of each segment and this resistance is has been found to be highly dependent on the degree of polarization which in turn depends on many conditions like ambient temperature ambient humidity and different molecules that are getting absorbed on the nanowire surface like for example different like carbon monoxide or different types of acids that come out from this fruit so we can use this factor as an advantage to classify between various different specimen like different fruits like apple mango orange so each and every different fruit will have a different resistance value so you can train the software to be able to classify it between the different segments so we are using a simple classif classify program here which is known as linear discriminant analysis LTA so basically that's my work my work is to fabricate the metal, metal oxide chip then to characterize it characterize is something like calibration and after characterization I have to test the chip I have to train it for the different specimen the different applications so basically this chip is application specific so I have to work on that and after that after testing after it's for successfully working then we sell it as a product so now I like to give you a mini tour of the testing facility that there I'm basically working in three different laboratories one is for the fabrication one is for characterization and one is for testing so here I will be showing you the video of, of the testing lab to give you a mini tour of the lab I've been working in as you can see all the equipment here is state of the art it's sophisticated latest and as you can see there are pretty good security facilities here too there are strict safety precautions that you have to follow now moving on to my stay in germany well i should say the stay here is amazing the people here are very lively the work culture i really love the work, work culture here like when people are working they'll fully focus on working when they're enjoying they'll fully enjoy they'll drink they'll smoke they'll chill out so i pretty much like the environment here they get the work done pretty fast they're very particular in doing the work they're very punctual in doing the work finishing the deadlines and completing the work so i pretty much liked it here and the best thing about germany is you're in europe so all the different countries everything is in close proximity with germany for till now i have visited like 10 countries there's not a single weekend that i have stayed at my room it's pretty much fun here like You'll make a lot of new friends, you'll find a lot of Indians here, you'll find a lot of different people from different countries. So we just go around, we just go to different countries, go to different cities in the Germany. It's really very fun here. Really like, I really like this place a lot. I wish I can come back here again. So this is definitely a good experience. It's definitely a new experience, a wonderful experience for students because you get to learn a lot from these guys get to learn a lot from this country how we can try to make our country like this so i pretty much liked it here so this will be a very good experience for other aspirants who really wish to do a foreign internship in any field of in a, the field of interest so i guess this is it i hope so that my video has served its purpose and good luck for all the juniors who wish to do the internship, wish to do foreign internship. Thank you.